Hello guys and welcome it is that SRB2 dude here today bring you yet another episode of what main power up does for all weapons in the game today we are going to be covering the splatlings inside the game and basically what main power up does for them so without further ado let's get into things so the first three splatlings I'm going to talk about are the mini splatling the heavy splatling and the nautilus now basically when applying main power up to these weapons they get increased duration while firing so it's pretty self-explanatory of what that does it's basically if you were to do a full charge with any of these weapons the meter of the crosshair will go down slower basically meaning that you'll be able to shoot longer than usual now, of course this is great and all but what really does it do for some of the splatlings in this game and personally, for what I see, is that for the mini splatling and the nautilus splatling, I feel like it's a thing that it can help fight against its foes a little bit better. Basically a thing just to keep them more within the battle. Especially for the nautilus splatling, I feel like this could be especially helpful since its meter does go down very, very fast for the particular type of weapon it is. It's definitely very noticeable when you do put at least maybe two mains of main power up on. I feel like it's just enough time if it's a thing where maybe you're chasing an opponent and you just need maybe a few more shots just to finish off that opponent. Another thing I feel like it can really help with these types of weapons is its painting power. Now, of course, this may apply a little bit more for weapons like the heavy splatling, mainly because, of course, as a backline weapon, it does paint quite a bit. So having that just a little bit extra time just to be able to shoot out your weapon and get a little bit more extra paint down. Honestly, I really think that does help. Of course, be wary of your ink management because if you're firing a little bit more, then of course you're going to use a little bit more ink. So if you're able to manage it well, I don't feel like this will be a problem. Now for the final two splatlings are going to be, of course, the Hydra splatling and the Bullpoint splatling. They both get the same, I guess, ability when you do apply a main power up to them. Basically, they get increased damage. Of course, the Hydra Splatling is a little bit different. Uh, if you do a full charge with it, it gets the super ultra mega strong damage that it normally gets. It's like 40 damage per hit. Uh, but if you don't do a full charge with it, then it does below 33, I believe. But if you put main power up on, you can basically get its partial hits up to 33 damage and its full charge hit to something much higher than that, which honestly may not even be that necessary since it's already doing quite a bit of damage already. For the Bullpoint, however, it can only do a maximum of 33 damage when applying, I guess, a certain amount of main power up onto the weapon. Now, in my honest opinion, I gotta say that this could be extremely useful for these two types of weapons. And the main reason is for damage fall off. Now I know I mentioned this quite a bit, that damage fall off can make sure that your shots are a little bit more consistent, especially for longer range weapons when they are at, I guess, their peak range. Because of course, if you're firing uh, maybe a little bit upwards just to get a little bit extra range out of your weapon to hit your target, then of course you're gonna get some damage fall off. So maybe you'll fall into cases where you don't completely take out an opponent because your fall off damage is a lot weaker than your regular damage. But when applying main power up on, this will basically change that as your fall off damage will be much stronger. It may be a case where it will take less shots to actually kill. Now I'm just thinking it may not be that necessary for the Hydra Splatling considering when you do play with this weapon, you're usually going for that full charge if you're going to take someone out at long range. And considering it's already doing 40 damage, you kind of think to yourself that maybe you're gonna get a pretty consistent kill anyway. But for the ballpoint splatling, however, since it is primarily a four shot kill and it can get 33 max damage, when of course applying enough main power upon, then it may be a little bit more useful since you're going to be going for that the majority of the time. Also, since the ballpoint splatling gets its furthest range much faster than the hydra splatling in particular. So again, it might be much more useful for the ballpoint splatling. Now, I just wanna conclude because uh, I didn't really talk about too much about, I guess, the mini splatling, uh, the nautilus and the heavy splatling. It may be a little bit more difficult to apply for weapons like the heavy splatling in particular, since it's kind of a thing where you need quite a lot of run speed to actually really make the weapon feel strong enough to actually take against your foes. So it might be a thing where you kind of have to think if you have enough space for it. So because with a heavy splatling, I'm just thinking now, like I want three mains of run speed. Uh, I want my two subs or more of quick super jump, uh, maybe a little bit of special saver. After that, I just need to think, okay, where can I fit my main power up on? Or do I even want it in general? Do I want to invest in other perks that could possibly help me better? 
do I want to invest in special power up to make sure that my stingray is a little bit longer than usual? Or do I want to have more special charge up so I can get my stingray faster? There's quite a bunch of different things where you're going to have to kind of mix and match builds to find out what works for you. But those are some of my suggestions when, I guess, thinking about putting main power up on. Do you really feel like you need some more firing time while you need to kind of think about all the other stuff that you may have to optimize? For the mini splatling and Nautilus, it may be a little bit of a different story, especially for the Nautilus since there is so much that you can really do with it. All you really need is one main of swim speed and the rest you can kind of just mix and match and do whatever you want. So it's definitely things like that. You got to really think of do I really need to invest in this? Do I really want to invest in it? Because honestly, with these types of weapons, main power up is just a bonus. It's nothing really like, oh my god, it's amazing. And it's not even like, oh my god, this is just so bad to have. Lastly, just to mention again, the Hydra Splatling and Ballpoint. Ballpoint, I definitely think it's a great idea. Hydra Splatling, not much so for my reason before. But anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This is pretty much all I've got to say for about the uh, Splatlings and main power up. Uh, please, if you did, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both of you if you're feeling generous. Make sure to hit the bell notification button to make sure that you guys get notified for when I go stream and all that. And also to make sure to, you know, find out when I do upload videos and, and stuff. So, anyways, this video's been going quite some time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I shall see you guys in a future one.